Can you show me Surah 112? Yeah. Surah 112, you may be knowing. Yeah, Lam Yal is what I'm using. So he is not born. No, Arabic, he... your training is Arabic. Don't say Quran Arabic. Quran is in Arabic or what language is the Quran? Quran. No one knows. Arab says it is in Arabic. Arab says. Do you know who you are? No one knows. I know. Arabic okay. trainer, Arabic trainer, trainer. If you, if you don't know that the Quran is in Arabic, then you've come to the wrong planet. Then Which planet do you come from? Listen, listen. Ask him what he's trying now, to now say. Now, Allah, when you, how you Sorry. got Allah, how you got Allah, they say Semitic language, wait, 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 Hebrew, wait, wait, wait. I, it took from... You're, you're jumping all everywhere. No, no, because now, one moment. Okay. Is the Quran in the language of the Arabs? That is Arabic claims. Arabic claim. Arab claims that it is Allah's language. They gave me the Allah. I don't think you understand English that well okay. enough, right? You understand. Oh, you understand. I am not. I must speak English. You, 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 you English. speak English. You speak English. I think so. Oh, then, then you understand this. That Arabic trainer trained you that. Um, listen. Yeah. The Quran yeah. is in the Arabic language. Who that disputes is a claim. that? Who that disputes is a claim. it? That is a claim. Arabic claim. Uh -huh. Who disputes that the Quran is in, not in Arabic language? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Who what? disputes that? What? <laughs> I don't dispute. I said <laughs> Arabic trainer trained you to say that. Who's, who told you Arabic trainers trained me? <laughs> you took from, training from whom? Oh, you so you know who trained me, did you? <laughs> That's who trained why I said, me? Okay, who trained me? The Arabic trainer. Eh? You're mistaken. I have been trained by various people, Arabs and non-Arabs. Arabic right? trainer Once trained you. The Arabic trainer trained you. In fact, you. my first Arabic lessons were with... Yeah, you took some... Arabic lessons. Yes, that's what I said. You, Arabic Did you trainer? not hear what I'm saying? No, it was Arabic. not an Arab who trained me in Arabic. So now... It was Arabic your... trainer. Excuse me. I'm asking you, simply. If you dispute that the Quran is not in Arabic, yeah? if you dispute it's not in Arabic, where do you get this from? Surah 16. No. Where do you get these claims from? It seems like very, very strange. Now, Arabic trainer trained this man to translate. He said, he created man from sperm drop. He means Allah in Surah 112. Say, he is Allah. Wait, 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 wait. Who is he? Wait, is this translation hmm? correct? Okay, let's take it. I'm asking you. Do you want any other translation? I just took... I'm, I'm simply asking you. Is this Arabic correct, first of all? Is it Arabic or is it Chinese? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I'm not an okay. Arabic. I, right, I not right, right. took the training in Arabic. Listen. I took the then training. I, I suggest you actually get some basic training in Arabic. Okay. Basic to training. Understand basic training. The Quran is in Arabic language. Says, Allah created man from sperm drop. How Allah removed the sperm drop? That's the that's the big thing. You have to understand the Arabic language first before you can tackle the force. <laughs> See another trainer. He, he doesn't yeah, well, understand. You don't understand. You understand English. He created man yeah. from sperm drop. How? Uh, who is it? Man created from yeah, Allah's so the Arabic sperm. Came before the English. Allah's sperm. Do you know the Quran says? Who is this man created from Allah's sperm? So, your comprehension still seems to be to such a level that. So what? Such a level? It's a simple can English. I, can I finish? Simple English. Simple English you don't understand. Listen. Do you want me to speak Oxford English? Listen. Yeah, please do. Go ahead. Oxford English, please. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speak in Oxford English. Oxford English. English. Yeah, yeah. Two questions. He yeah. created another uh, translation. Well, is created from Nufta. What is that? No, he's speaking Oxford Nufta. English. Nufta. It's Oxford English. Can you speak this Oxford is, English? This is Oxford. It says Nufta now. Do you know where Oxford no, is? Um, Nufta is in... Do you know what an Oxford who English is? is? This, who is this stupid person who translate Arabic and he uses Nufta? Nufta. Looked out, no. Do you need glasses? Yeah, because it is sunny. Yes. Sunny, okay, no problem. No problem. Yeah. Right. Yes. So let me tell you something. Okay. Allah says, "Bada a khalq al insana min tin, thumma jala naslahu min sulala min ma imahin." He began the creation of man from clay. Then he forgets. Again, he forgot. Um, Allah, 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 said, to, Allah said in Surah. Are, are you going to cut me off in the middle? Are you going to let me finish? Okay. I yeah. only halfway through. Yeah. Just take a little break. So Allah began the creation of man from clay. Then he created his progeny from the sperm drops, from something that is emitted. Okay, okay, so okay, I'm okay, not finished. Finish? Not finished? No. Okay. Do you have any something called patience? No, we, In Oxford I, English, I there's a word called patience. What, let's, let's, Let oh, me finish oh there. My God. Thank okay. you. Patience. That's in Oxford English as well. So Allah began the creation of first man from clay. Then the progeny came from the nutfa. Mimma in Mahid from this water gushing fluid. That's how the Quran explains. It's, it's done or can I? Now you
broke Allah's promise to protect Quran. He now removed another meaning for the simple language. He created man from sperm drop. Now gushing, he added gushing. Now Allah promises nobody can change the Quran. He now put another thing. Allah forgets what he said earlier. He created man from the man from the clay. Then he forgets in Surah 16:4. That he created man from the sperm drop. He create, he removes the sperm drop and create a man. Who is that man? You don't know. But you want some Arabic trainer trained you to say this. The gushing. Surah. Can okay. I? Wait. I will, no, I will, I will wait. Finish. Patient, patient, Finish. Patient, I want to know which English patient. trainer trained you. Patient. Now here. Here. Because that's very important. Here. The Surah 16 verse 3 and verse 5. Yeah. If you read. He talks about the other cow and the kettles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now here, you don't know, now you have started adding your own stories to the Surah 16.4. Who is that man? It's the simple question, who is that man Allah created from the sperm drop? Sure. Who is that man and who, where, sure. from how Allah removed the sperm? So, can you now tell me who trained you in English first? And then I'll uh, continue. There, there are uh, many people. Many people. Anyone English who trained you? No. No problem, no problem. It doesn't have to be an English person to train English. Yeah, so, exactly. so, so, is it relevant then to bring these issues about Arabic trainer, Arabic trainer? It's because irrelevant. Trained, uh, wait, wait. No, my, it's my irrelevant. Point. Just like in your case, who trained you in English is irrelevant, whether it was an English man or a woman or non-English person, it's irrelevant. What's important is we should have some kind of comprehension skills of what we read. I just told what I told you in the Quran earlier on in Arabic is actually from the Quran. So Allah gives the context. He tells us the creation of first man and then the creation of the subsequent progeny. So here he's talking about the creation of the subsequent progeny from Adam alayhi you, salam. You're making did you, fun did you, of did, who, Allah. Did you understand Allah, what I said? Allah, Allah, say, simple, Allah say in a simple language. Allah, if Allah is God, says in a simple language, he created man from sperm drop. He has everything, whatever you have in the pocket. Add it. What Arab trainer trained you? Add it. Arab it's trainer, is, well, it's a simple, I, I think, simple, I think simple I'm really, language. I'm, I'm not speaking, uh, language. hearing English Who's enough. English? What's Who's he trying to say? English? Who is the English guy? One I, second. I, 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 yeah, English? yeah, yeah, yeah. You need some English person. Yeah. You have, of course, some questions. It's not a good question. It's a simple, simple, yeah, simple yeah, verse. And how Allah forgets listen, in Surah 112. It's either added, Surah 112 is added. You are forgetting what I just said. Right. Okay. What I said, let's come to you. I want to know. So as I said, Allah talks about the creation yes. of various things. Yes. He talks about creation of humans, creation of human being. He actually gives us in various phases, highlighting the important things that have been associated with the creation of man. Where it okay? says in Surah 112. Um, I'm not talking surah, to you, surah, I'm speaking to this gentleman surah, here. Surah. Now, so Allah says, بَدَأَ خَلْقَ الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ طِينَ He began the creation of man from clay. So we now have even the phases of human creation, they were very first of the human. Allah says he created from clay. And he talks about how in various clays, Salsal and Kalfakhar, for example. Salsal. So the various stages of even the first human creation is explained throughout the Quran where it's needed to explain in detail. Elsewhere, Allah says, as a human, created human, which is the progeny of the first human. Where? Because, it is from the pocket. Um, you are talking patience from the pocket. and be quiet. You're, thank you're you. Talking, so now, talking from the pocket. Uh, are you going to let me continue so, with this? No, no, you can, you can, excuse me. You can, excuse me. You can, you can, so I was just okay, I'm going to ignore can, him, right? You, uh, and a background you noise. And add, so what is it? This. So Allah says, "Thumma jala naslahu." Then He made His progeny from, and then He gives you what this process of creation is. The process that are mimma in mahin, a gushing fluid. And Allah says, this gushing fluid called alaqa, what is not the, the alaqa transforms in something called mudgha, mudgha transformed into idham, the idham is lahm, kiswa bil lahm, and then from it khalqan akhar, another creation because it's a different form of the human embryo you must as read, it develops. You must read Quran. So you must read when Quran. we, when, Arabic when, training. listen, Arabic when training. the Quran it's Arabic uses, balls. Use the terms to describe the creation of man. Wasting the from the topic. The some point, the topic, the topic is some places you describe at length. Other places only highlighting one key word, like khalaq al insan min alaq. Just one word. Very importantly, why alaq? Because Allah is trying to make this link of this word to the context of the discussion within the surah. 
So these are the ingredients of creation of the first human beings and its progeny. If I told you I created bread from flour, you don't say, oh, that's wrong. Bread is created from flour. But if I said bread is created from flour and water, that's also true. Because I'm just adding you different ingredients to highlight the detail when I'm trying to explain to you a certain process. Um, when the Quran describes, likewise, now, now, yeah, this is, this is, this is I'm not talking now, to you. Now, when the now, Quran describes, he was talking to me. He was talking to me. You would came like and, to and hear. He is trying, trying to fool you. He is trying to fool you. He is trying to fool you. You see, you see this. So when the Quran simple English describes the story of seven prophets, sometimes it describes one aspect or two aspects of his life, of his life. Elsewhere, the same prophet is described in detail. His life, his mission, his teaching. Arabic train out made you to understand. You cannot simply you understood this. Take one part and say. It contradicts to the other part. When you God don't understand the Quran, like yeah. it's simply uh, total don't understand mis this. understanding yeah. or not Do you understand comprehending this? the language of the Quran. Uh, Allah created man uh, from the sperm drop. Right? How could the sperm you, is removed? How the sperm is removed? Could you stop shouting in my ears, right? Uh, so how Allah is removed? Okay, we're gonna move on. Okay, you came. Don't follow me. You came. You came. No, you don't. You're dictating. Go to Iraq. Dictator. Go to Iraq. Go to Iraq if you are dictating me. It is a it is a speaker corner. Don't dictate. Don't follow me. I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to this gentleman. You came and spoke to me. I'll ask you a question. Okay. You know what? Ask 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 me. I will I will as well. I'll ask you a question. If you are if you are interested, I'll be just there. Can you finish with him? Then I'll talk. Okay. In the camera. In the camera. Because I I cannot continue talking with you while someone is shouting in my ear. Why are you running away? Why are you running away? You are running away. I don't want to talk to you. Hmm?